For the next 30 hours, we're going to be crossing almost half the country of India. Setting up from Mumbai Central, we'll be traveling all the way up to Chandigarh on board the Pashim Express. I've been looking forward to riding on a train in India since we flew into the country. Hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. So we're currently riding on the Pashim Express, which goes all the way from Mumbai up to Amritsar. We're taking it only as far as Chandigarh though. So from here to Chandigarh, it's gonna take us a total of 28 hours. We left at 11.25 and we're likely to get in, assuming everything goes to plan, at 3.15 tomorrow. So now all we have to do, now that we're nice and settled, is to try and work out what we're gonna do with the next 28 hours. I've seen plenty of other vloggers doing trains in India and I've just pulled a Nate. Hanging out the window where I felt like these little drops of moisture. <sighs> I just try not to think about it. Thank goodness we've got lots of head and sanitizer on us because that was pretty gross once I realized what had happened. And this is our home for the next 28 hours. This is the coupe that we've got. Pronounced coupe, not coupe. <coughs> Apparently coupe is wrong. Double bunk, upper and lower, and a wall on the other side. Very importantly, that way we just get the two of us in one cabin. The first class AC has four cabins and four coupes. This is what a cabin looks like. It's four beds on either side. Uh, and these ones you could be sharing with complete strangers, you might not. You can't book them ahead. You just randomly assign either coupes or cabins. The room does have a faint smell of urine to it though. A few homely touches. Upper bunk, bottom bunk. I've shotgunned the upper bunk though, so I don't know why that's so childish, but it's still freaking awesome to have the upper bunk. And in order to assist me in getting up to the upper bunk, there are a set of very narrow, fumbly looking stairs. Being in first class AC, obviously it's a lot colder than it would be if like, I think some of the like the cheaper carriages just have open slats instead of actual windows, which would probably drive you absolutely nuts in this blazing heat. 36 degrees outside. Both the upper and lower bunks have the reading light. This one's actually quite dull. Both of them have little reading lights. And they've got power outlet each. That one there's the power switch for this one, that one's the power switch for that one. Bell, presumably to call the attendant. What does NL stand for? Nightlight. Nightlight. And then these are the main lights, I think. Let me switch that out. Ah, main lights. Yeah. So we've got nothing to do for the next 20 hours except for just sit back and relax and find something to do. I'm sure the novelty won't wear off anytime soon. There was me worried that we were gonna have like no options for and to eat or drink on this train. Uh, we brought a bunch of snacks with us, and every five minutes someone's going up and down the carriages offering chai, coffee, and now chai, coffee, and Maggie noodles. <laughs> I love trains. Can you imagine that on an airplane? <laughs> Someone coming up with a big bowl of Maggie noodles. <laughs> So the prices for in-train are slightly different to the at-station costs. For instance, if you want a standard tea, it's 5 rupees. Tea with a tea bag in it is 10 rupees. Coffee using instant coffee powder is 10 rupees. You have breakfast options, quite a few of those. You've got meals and snacks and a la carte, which has quite a number of items on here, it looks like. You also have the option for a diabetic meal, east, north, west, south Indian meals, south central meals, and Jain meals. And they've got a continental menu only available for the first AC people. Uh, 
And despite all that, Cyrus managed to wrangle a very sneaky method of getting food delivered to us at one of the next stations. Ah, oh, here we are. Domino's delivered to your train carriage. Oh, and we're off already. <laughs> that was like less than two minutes. That was incredibly fast. Like if that guy wasn't standing right there with the order, we would have missed him. That was incredibly fast. It's pretty cool though that you can get fast food, like regular fast food brands and stuff delivered to the train carriage while you're at a station for less than two minutes. I'm so glad to be on AC just now because it's 38 degrees outside. I don't think I'd be able to handle that if we didn't have air conditioning. Luckily, um, they've just washed the washroom, so now is the best time to do a washroom review. It's a bit cramped, and it's a lot hotter than the AC that you get in the rest of uh, the compartments and cabins, but it's, it's, it's not bad. Personally, I wouldn't want to use it, but I have seen far worse washrooms on trains than this. Three hygienical options. They've got the jug on a chain, they've got the hose, and very rare to see on Indian washrooms of any sort. Toilet paper. Soap. Wash basin. Garbage. It's not the dirtiest washrooms that I've seen on trains before. I mean, I've, I watch a lot of YouTube and most of the toilets that I've seen on Indian trains are usually pretty disturbing. But this is actually quite clean. And that's the washroom review. At the other end of the carriage, they also have the Indian style toilet. The bottom chair actually folds out into a bed. Which I'm kind of curious to see. Whoa. Ah. I mean, it's whoa. It's kind of sloped. <laughs> this one's kind of sloped a bit, but um, I think I'll just leave it up. There we go. I did pack quite a few snacks for the trip. Um, gonna have to go hunting now. In fact, you might say that I'm going bounty hunting. I know it's terrible, but I make no excuses. There's no adjusters in here. I guess they just make the entire car like the same sort of like temperature control. But right now outside we're tra currently traveling through Gujarat and it is 40 degrees outside. So we're now six hours into the train ride, getting a bit hungry again. And luckily, I've got a few Twix up my sleeve. I'm almost finished, I'm almost finished, don't worry. We're currently at Vadodara. This is the longest stop that we've had so far. They came in and disinfected the floor. And there's also a lot of people walking up and down. Looks like they're trying to sell butter pav. This stop is only 10 minutes long, but it's still dramatically longer than any of the other stops that we've had. It looks like there's quite a few people getting on and off here too. The butter pav, the guy was carting around, did look kind of appetizing, but um, one of the vendors was picking his nose while he was walking up and down. So it's probably not worth the risk. Since we've got a little bit of time on our hands now, currently 20 to 8, or 7.42 if you'd rather, about an hour and a bit's time, we're going to pick up our dinner at one of the stations. So might as well get comfy in the meantime. I'm going to switch into my gym jams. Now that I'm in my gym jams, I've just realized I don't really want to touch the floor with my feet. I mean, they did disinfect it earlier, but it's still a bit, um, like, I'm going to sleep in my shoes. I'm not sure what to do. I'll probably just have to try and avoid the floor. Floor is lava from now on. Floor is lava. No idea what's going on at this station, but it's, it's, it's busy. When we got on board, we were given these packets, and we've got towels and fresh linen bed sheets. They do look rather clean though, which is reassuring. When we got one of these packets each, it's quite nice. Should make us nice and comfortable to snooze in. Hopefully keep the mosquitoes off me as well while I try and sleep tonight. I saw one of them earlier. <laughs> Got him. She 
Ogni de los Sots. I've just made a discovery. Something I didn't know that this train had is a shower. There's an actual shower on a train. That's definitely not something that I'd seen before. Top shower and side attachment. I had no idea the train had this. There you go. Just getting ready to go to bed. Boom. Shower. Impressive, no? A shower on a train. A shower on a all right. That, that biryani we just had was ridiculously spicy. So much so, I'm gonna blow my fuse. That's the last one, I promise. So it looks like we got into Matura Junction a little bit early. So we've had a bit of an extended stop here while they you know, sell stuff and wake everybody up. Bread omelette, cutlet, poha, upma. Back. You see, we have this latch here. It goes down, and we thought the door was locked, and everything inside was safe. And that latch is only... only accessible from the inside, you see. So that was us thinking that we'd been properly locked in. This lock, however, locks the door in the open position but not in the lock in the closed position so that is our only latch however we thought we were locked in with all of our valuables like my cameras and our laptop and basically everything that we own we thought we were good but <laughs> but seven in the morning uh, all those food sellers and stuff somehow managed to open the door stick their head in and ask if we wanted to buy anything the bed actually wasn't that bad with the exception of the pillow being a little bit useless like my neck's a little bit a little bit creaky. With that an exception, it wasn't that bad of sleep. In fact, I would have actually enjoyed staying in bed a little bit longer if someone hadn't busted the door open and woken us up. So we've still got seven more hours to go before we get to Chandigarh. To be fair, without the kids screaming, the first seven hours in the train ride that we had yesterday wasn't necessarily that bad. Just now kind of trying to keep a little bit quiet though so we can hear one of the chai wallas going past, hopefully, with some coffee, because I could really do with a coffee. Although I hope it's not in a bag. This is how he brought my coffee in like a little <laughs> zip seal bag. One of the other problems that I've had with the coffee so far is that they're usually a tiny little like shot glass and it's very, very milky <laughs> and very sugary. However, any port in a storm will do. Chai, egg, coffee? Coffee or chai? Chai. Chai. Thank you. Thank you. Anything's better than nothing. I'm good. Thank you. One of the bad things about being this end of the train is <laughs> they've run out of water by this point, but I was desperate, so a shot of coffee. I mean, it's essentially an espresso at this point, although it was, it wasn't proper coffee, it was like packet powder. The disinfectant smell does. Disinfectant smell does take away like the other kind of gross, stale train smell. It's kind of refreshing. It's also kind of very strong disinfectant too, so it's in your eyes.
currently at the Delhi station, which is the longest stopping point we've got, 25 minutes. I went for a bit of a wander to see if I could find a place to get a decent coffee, but unfortunately to no avail. But sorry to the rescue again, we've got Haldi rums delivered. And I've got a cold coffee in there, and of course Chole Bature, but um, cold coffee, <laughs> better than no coffee. In the brief amount of time that I was out in the, the train station, I walked down. There were a lot of beggars at the station all coming up and like grabbing your arm and stuff like that and begging and begging and begging and things. And it was, it was a little bit overwhelming. station managed to get some Dettol wipes. I am kind of curious, not for the purposes of cleaning the train or anything like that. I mean, we've already spent over 24 hours on here, so it's not like we're gonna get any cleaner now, but I am kind of curious to see what would happen to a nice clean wipe once you brush it on certain surfaces in the train carriage. For example, well, that's really foamy. Oh, it's not bad. A little bit of discoloration, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's not like it's horrific. Yeah, I was expecting a lot worse than that. That's not bad. No, not bad at all. Yeah, pleasantly surprised by that. It's actually quite clean. I'll try to clean the window and put the sea out of it a little bit better. Probably the dirtiest surface in here. The last station to Delhi, I had more time to just like walk around because it was like 25 minutes. I figured it was my opportunity as well to go and have a walk down the second class AC, which is obviously a lot less private than this. There are cubicles, but they're only closed in by curtains. There was bunk beds down the left hand side, and then there was stall beds, sort of like the cabins we have here. So it was like four bunk beds that way. <laughs> And then on the other side, it was single bunk bed. Either way, it, it seemed a lot more cramped, a lot more claustrophobic even, I would say. A lot more noisy, I would imagine, once it gets going and people are start talking and things in there. So I think we're quite lucky to have managed to snag one of these coupes by ourselves. All in all though, the fact that we were 28 hours on a train, I don't really feel that worse for wear of it like I would if it was like 28 hours on an aeroplane or something. I've actually quite enjoyed the experience of traveling on a train, especially because we're in a first class AC coupe. If we were in any of the other compartments, it probably wouldn't have been as manageable or as comfortable. So the tickets were approximately $75 Canadian or 4,500 rupees per person to get these tickets. So it's actually, it's actually quite reasonably priced and as disgusting as the washrooms were, they are regularly cleaned and they're probably comparable to like low budget airlines washrooms only with less people using them. <laughs> you spoil for options for food and drinks and things as you're on the train as well. So I, oh, plus the baggage fees and things like that. We've got all of these bags on here and didn't have to pay extra for them. So yeah, really enjoying my travel on a train. Plus, as I've mentioned before, sleeping on the train has probably been the most comfortable way of sleeping during any form of transportation. Sleeping on a car, horrible. Sleeping on a plane, nightmarish if you're not lying flat. But these have actually been quite incredibly comfortable. The only thing that I would say is if you want to sleep a little bit more comfortable, the only things that I could think of is to bring a better pillow with you. And on the off chance, if you are thinking of traveling by a train, I would recommend as a Westerner, to bring your own supply of toilet paper just because you never know. But Great experience. Great experience. Cyrus seal of approval too. Almost at a grand total of about two hours and 10 minutes delay-ish. So the 28 hour train ride now has turned into a 30 hour train ride. Well, just over a 30 hour train ride, you know what I mean.
us, we finally made it to Chandigarh. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.